Yes, darlings, those are keys to my brand new office space. Can you hear the echo? <laughs> Let me cover up. I feel like I'm giving y'all too much. But yes, I'm like a sweaty mess. I've just moved in to my office space. I told you guys that I had something amazing for you guys, and this is it. I have an office space. I have a space to create and do my videos and do my eBay and my Poshmark, and I'm not in everybody's way at the house. And it feels so good this is something that i've been working on for a few months and that's why like i've kind of not been on social media that much and i actually deleted my personal facebook page because it was just too much noise i i'm trying to do so much and i really wanted to make sure that i was making the right decision and that i was clear-headed and so now i am here and so just like when i moved to chicago and i did that video on um the salvation army by the pound store i'm doing another video from right here on the floor because i don't have any furniture yet and this video is actually on west palm beach outlet the clear they actually call it the west palm beach clearance center and it's so fitting that i'm doing that video because they have actually moved they used to be off of old okeechobee if any of you are from south florida or if you've been there and now it's moved to lake worth and it's such a new and beautiful space and yes, I said beautiful, um, because the old play, the old location was like a dank, damp garage. Like I've, and there's a reason why I haven't done a video on them because I went once and walked in, spent like 10 minutes and walked right back out. But they have a new space and I'm actually gonna do another video. I'm gonna do like a shop with me. This time I just want to see what kind of inventory they had and they had some amazing pieces. So let's get right into it. Um, huh, sorry, I'm just taking a breath. <laughs> getting everything situated and getting everything down here so yeah so grab some food a drink or whatever join me on the floor let's get to it um let's do the and as you can see this is going to be uh, quite a, okay i can't even lift that back it's going to be it might be a lengthy video so i'm just going to warn you for those of you that like to skip ahead or like to kind of go through um all right so i spent a total of 74.95 it looks like What's 46 plus 23? 70, no, nine, 69. 69 pounds is what I bought. Um, and it is 190, 199 a pound up to 25 pounds. And then after 25 pounds, it's $1.69 a pound. So it's more expensive than some, but kind of the, similar to Fort Lauderdale. Um, and I have this Miami, but I've heard Miami is quite similar. So I'm just gonna dig in the bag. It's gonna be a mix of clothes and shoes. This is the first piece. This is a Tignanello bag. I know I keep I think it is. I believe it is, or Cole Hawn. No, it's Tignanello. And it's just, you know, it has a little bit of muck there, but it is a leather bag, so it's gonna have some age. I don't mind with these bags. And people that purchase bags for me know that, you know, the bags that I sell are pre-owned, so they're gonna have a little bit of stuff on it. So I got this bag, a beautiful leather bag. Clean on the inside. I always like to look on the inside. I just need to just kind of throw these in the corner um, because I need to create a space to list. This is a Kuba bag, and I know I keep on buying these bags that I eventually <laughs> end up keeping, but I'm not going to keep this bag. This is a Tig no, this is a Kuba bag. Let me show you the Kuba. Can you guys see that? So this is a Kuba bag, great leather. Oh my gosh, I love the way this feels. Oh, I love the way this feels. I found, the only other time that I found a Kuba bag was in um, Chicago at the Buy the Pound sale. And, you know, oh, it's so, it's clean on the inside. Like, I really want to keep this. But I can't do anything with a small bag, y'all. I'm being for real. Um, let's see, shoes. I got these Franco Sardo um, clogs. And I got them because there's some people that just love a clog. I'm not one of them. I used to be one of them, but I'm not one of them. But these suede Franco Sardo clogs. When it comes to shoes in the outlets, and they're like brand new. When it comes to shoes at the outlets, you have to pay like double, triple, quadruple attention because a lot of times it's like one thing missing. And so I wanted to make sure that all the studs were on, were on there. Okay, there we go. There may be some background noise from like my neighbor on this side. I haven't introduced myself yet, but you know, I'm friendly. But you know, I like to feel out your spirit first. So, you know, I say, hi, afternoon, how you doing? But I'm listening to the conversation. I want to make sure he ain't talking about nothing that I don't need to hear. 
because I will move no <laughs> this is loft it's a loft sweater merino wool sweater it does have some pilling but there's a way to kind of get rid of that pilling with a pumice stone so I'm gonna work on that just to bring it back to life so let me fold that up so this faux or actually it feels like it's like maybe rabbit fur or something but this black see that oh the lights crazy sorry it's black <laughs> but it's so pretty it's just like a little jacket all right I got this Le Sports sack these always well not always but these tend to do really well with me the Le Sports sack handbags it's really funky it's more like a spring it'll work here's the other shoe um here is a Kate Landry bag which is Dillard's I think I thought it was a really cute summer bag I don't know if I'm gonna list it now or if I'm gonna wait till later um but I like the octopus design on it and it was really good condition so I was like somebody would love this this is somebody's love right here um so jeans you guys know that I love a jean so <laughs> Here's some Aeropostale jeans. Because I am now venturing into the full-time reseller role, um, I'm venturing out. So this is one of the brands that I'm venturing out with. I have bought them before on um, at the outlets because they are so inexpensive. So this is one of the lines that I'm going to see if I'm gonna price it a little lower than I was my designer jeans, um, just to see where my, like, my sweet spot is. Here's some Gap skinny roll-up jeans. Now, Gap I know does well, point blank and period. So, there's that. And I, I sell some AG jeans like this. So, I'm hoping that, you know, it'll be the same kind of, not necessarily the same kind of pricing, but the same kind of feeling. All right, this is a lot of stuff, y'all. I'm just letting you know. If you need to stop and go to the bathroom and come back. <laughs> this is another Air Paul style jean. And you know what? It's not until I went with my, um, my goddaughter to Air Force style. I was like, oh, they really are some expensive jeans. When they have a clearance, they have a clearance, but they are not, they're not, they're not inexpensive. You got a little bit of price on them. All right. Oh, we got these for Riley. Let me take these out and put them to the side, y'all. So I got these. Riley's closet is really like baby gap all the way, and it's baby gap thrift. And so I got her these two little pair of jeans because you guys know she's in school now. Oh my God, they're so cute. So they actually might be a little bit too short because she has long legs, but I just got these for her because you can just never go wrong when it comes to kids' jeans, especially when they're in daycare or preschool or anything like that. Um, oh, I forgot I had these. Oh, so these... I don't know if someone just kind of threw them on top, but look at these, y'all. I know I found these on top. I don't know if somebody just kind of threw them back like, eh? Jimmy Choo dress sandals. Aren't these adorable? This is such a Florida shoe. Let me show you the bottom. These are 37 and a half. I'll show you both. But yeah, these are a seven and a half, 37 and a half. I forgot it. God, sometimes you're just like so like in the moment, you totally forget what you bought. Oh, yeah, I thought this was so cute. I picked this up thinking that this was like, I'm not gonna, I don't even know what I thought it was. I thought it was like high-end luxury designer. This is Gianni Bini, I'm sorry, the fur from the, um, the coat is like flying all over the place. Um, Gianni Bini, look at this. Isn't this adorable? Now, as I talk about that, look at that. Couldn't you see these together? One of them be like this, white teeth and jeans and this little purse. No, Dion, you can't keep it. Calm down. <laughs> you guys saw where I was going with that. You guys who follow me on Instagram, y'all see the struggle. <laughs> Everything I see, I want it. Everything I buy, I want to keep it. All right, so this is and Ann Taylor, I love this jacket. It needs to be steamed, God knows. Um, dry cleaned, really. Um, but look at this jacket. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. This, one thing I will say, 
about West Palm is that they're not as quick. The thing that I am addicted to, oh, I'm gonna say addicted to, but it really is like, the thing that gets me with Fort Lauderdale, why I enjoy that experience, minus the dust and everything, their bins turn over really quickly. So by the time you've gotten through one row, they're bringing out another row. So they bring like, they'll bring out one row, wait a good 15 minutes and then take out the oldest row. So by the time you've really made your way through, like you're, they're bringing out new stuff. So you literally, and I know they don't want you to do that, but you literally could stay in there all day because they're rotating so quickly. Um, West Palm, not so much. There was a, there was a definite lull in them bringing out the bins. And I don't know if that's because they're just learning the rhythm with this new larger space. Um, but that being said, I had a lot of time to go through what was already there. Um, so this is an Ann Taylor, I said it to say, this is an Ann Taylor shirt um, that I found. And a lot of stuff was in really great quality. Of course, it needs to be cleaned and, and um, steamed and everything. But Ann Taylor. And I got these pants. I thought these pants were so adorable. These are some Gap chinos, some slim cloth. Now that I have the space, I can buy out of season. So this is something that I don't know if I'd post right now. I would put it away um, for later. And so, yeah, I really, oh, I can't believe I have my, like I can't believe I have the office now, but it's something that I've been working on literally since my aunt passed. I think they're drilling. They're like doing stuff to the office spaces around me. So if you hear drilling, don't worry about that. Um, but literally since my aunt passed, I've just been in the brain, been in mind for was like, okay, I gotta get on my grind. Like, for my aunt's sake, I gotta, I gotta do what I gotta do. Um, so these are metaphors. The reason why I got these is because of this um, hem. This hem is in right now. Um, actually, it's been in. It really has been. Let me see if I can. There we go. Um, this unfinished hem, and I just thought it was really cute, so I got it. Um, and now I really have the chance to make my store what I want it to be. Um, so I'm excited. Um, paper, denim, and cloth. These are men's. Actually, I could say these for my husband. Um, 3630 denim. They're just a really good jeans. There's like no other way to just talk about it. Um, there's the label for those of you that are learning your labels. Oh gosh, we're like 13 minutes in. That's one bag. <laughs> Spring in your step. Spring step. Let's take these off. I Googled these and saw that it was a really good brand, so I got them. Nothing big about that. I got this Vera Wang dress, or simply Vera, which is Kohl's, and I just thought it was so pretty. And this is a 12, I think. I know it's a small, but it looks like a 12, like a 10, 12. Just love the print of it. Isn't that pretty? All right, let's see. And you know what? I usually buy like stuff that goes together, so look at that. Okay. <laughs> kind of um, I got this. This is, I don't want to say it's a no name because it has a name. It's by I N E R and it's it's I just liked it. I like the look of it. Somebody, somebody's playing Earth Wind and Fire. I love it. I should go over there and introduce myself, right? No, I'm being I'm not being a good Christian today. I know. Okay, this is a seven for seven for all mankind ginger pant. Pretty. All right. So that's one bag. Let me put this all in here. Because now I got to list all this stuff. I'm going to list it all. Let me put that over here. All right. All right. Bag number two. What's in here? Okay. 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 Look at the stuff like, did I get this? Yes, you did, Dion. All right, so this is an MNG skirt. This is, oh my gosh, with some over the knee boots. Seriously? This is so, so pretty. Um, I got these. I've sold a pair of these. Cork E's. I sold a pair in Chicago that I got from the 
Rockford, Illinois bins when I went there when Riley was really little. Um, and so I just, they were familiar to me. So I got them. Corkies. There's that. I got some boots, y'all. These are by Guest. Lord. Okay, just want to make sure. Because you know sometimes you get one and you forget to get the other. So, I mean, these were in really great condition. Brand new, right? And the zipper works and everything. And these are a size, Lord, don't let it be my size. Seven. I said that right. Size seven. And they just feel really good. All right. Okay, 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 okay. Um, this is Ann Taylor Loft Petite Skirt. Do you hear that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Seriously. All right, <laughs> sorry, I'm like being all nosy. Can you hear that? Can you guys hear that? Um, Ann Taylor Loft. There you go. All right. And then we have this. I love this. This is Express. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? All right. They're like getting progressively louder. I feel like I should go over there. Be like, hi, how are you? Like, I mean, it's their neighbor. Being really loud. Oh my gosh. Express. <laughs> I'm doing the most right now. Um, Express sweater. I just like the look of it. I think gray and white, you're just, it's so classic. Oh, I love this skirt. Oh no, it's a shirt. This shirt by Banana Republic. I thought this was so classy. Look at that. It's like faux leather. Isn't that pretty? I need to get the lighting right in here because, yeah. Oh, now they're playing. I'm gonna be in here playing music myself, so I really can't judge him. And I'll be, this place will allow me to, if people want consultations and I can have meetings in here. I'm so excited about this space. Okay, sorry. Let me get, get my train of thought. So this is Express with the bedazzled neck. There's that. This is, I just picked this up because I just thought I didn't want it to go to waste. This is the H&M kind of paisley peasant top. Isn't that pretty? And look at the bottom right there. All right, so this is a cabbie. I do remember this because I've never sold cabbie before. I don't think I have, but it seems to be really hot in the reseller world. So I got this jacket. Pretty, pretty. I have a lot of listing to do. <laughs> I'm just looking at everything like, time to hire somebody. All right. Express dress. Isn't that pretty? And then Mossimo. So another jean with this, and I got it clearly just for this. Not clearly, but I got it specifically for this right here. Isn't that pretty? And then I got these AGs. These are like really, I was really surprised that I found these in the bins because these are like really great pants. Aren't these pretty? And I got this dress. This is, this was or is a Juicy Couture dress. A little short dress. Really short dress. <laughs> Um, who are these, pray tell? Ann Taylor, Lindsay Waist. Now, I had never seen this tag before, or this stitching. And so you guys tell me if that's something that you've seen before, I have not. Um, but just a regular boot cut jean. And what I really liked about it was the detail of the pockets. I like that. Now, if you have a big bum, that you, you don't want any detail on the, on the pockets. Um, um, oh. I got this Bella doll, no, not Bella doll, Lunette Sir skirt, and I actually sold something like this. Okay, lighting, let's get it together, y'all. I need to get it together in here. Um, something similar last week in my Poshmark, so when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh. This is Romeo and Juliet Couture. 
I just like the way it feels. It just feels like a nice kind of lounging pant, right? All right. And then last but not least of my West Palm Hall Jones, New York top. Oops, sorry. That's it. <laughs> now it's time to list. Wow. Okay, so I am here for the rest of the day, or at least until I go pick up Riley. I'm going to get all of this stuff done. So I'm going to go to the cleaners. We need to just sort through it, but I'm in my space, y'all. In my space. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right. Let me get to work. Love you. We never pay retail. For those of you who are interested in the West Palm Clearance Center, I'm going to put the um, the new address in the description box because I know for me, I went to the old one and then saw the little sign that said where it's located now. So, um, yeah, that's it. Love you. We never pay retail. Thank you guys. All of you have been praying for me over this summer and fall and have kept me in your prayers and just. I'm just so grateful and thankful for all of you because it's because of you that I'm able to do something like this and I'm able to bring you more content and more content that I've been wanting to bring you, you know, how to wear certain items, how to dress for your body type, um, you know, thrifting for profit, those type of things I've been wanting to do. So I feel like I'm all disheveled. So <laughs> I actually am. Let me, and actually need to like mop up and clean and go to Ikea. Yeah. All right. Love you. Never take, never pay me till. Bye. There are counterfeit Jimmy Choo, Louboutin, Manolo Blahniks out there, and a lot of times you can tell that it's not real because the symmetry of the stitching. Lining never lies. I'm going to say, you're going to hear me say that over and over again, the lining never lies. So natural fibers and synthetic fibers, what's the difference? Um, and why does that add to cost? 